What's up, everybody? Ooh, it's been a been a long time to get this camera in this gym, <laughs> but I finally got it, as you can see. But unfortunately, I am still a noob when it comes to this stuff, and my camera died right before we got to the good parts, which is the live rolling. <clears throat> so right now we're just doing our warm ups before we get into some flow rolling and then we did some techniques which we did was two more back escapes which I didn't know which were really really cool were effective I actually pulled it off when we were live rolling but you can't see it because my camera died anyways let's get into the flow rolling alright so we're flow rolling so we're just going 30 40 50 percent I know I was definitely going 50 percent he was probably going 30, maybe even less than that. He is a purple belt. His name's Tyler. He's really good. He's really cool. He's helped me out a lot, as you'll see. <clears throat> so right here, he's got me in sort of a half half guard, and then I managed to get around to side control, and he flips over into a turtle. And I'm trying to... I think I'm trying to take his back, and then he flips over and pulls me in guard. I pass his guard pretty easily. I don't know why he let me, but <laughs> you know. There it is. <clears throat> right here I'm trying to flip him over flat on his back, but he's making it very difficult. I can't get him like completely flat, and I see he's hiking up so I want to make sure he doesn't flip me on my back and get me inside control. And I just push him over. I'm trying to get on top in the mount. I'm trying to be more aggressive with my stepping. Trying to step in more. But, I mean, I managed to get on his back and take his back. See, right here, I have my the pillow arm on top of his neck laying down. So he's, like, laying on a pillow. And as you just saw, I flipped him back down on it because he was trying to get off the pillow. What I'm trying to do, I don't know how to do anything off a of back. So I'm just trying to choke him right here. I'm trying to figure out how to get... In get my arm in there and choke him out but it's very hard <laughs> he passed my bottom leg and he's about side to side with me We're basically laying on the ground with each other <clears throat> now I'm trying to get him on his back but he managed to, to get above me and there's my coach <laughs> let's see he's trying to get into side control I think and I managed to keep my leg up to prevent him from getting completely in it right away. He gets on top of me and I pull him in a half guard. And then he goes for side control again. And it looks like he's sort of in it. I managed to keep him from mounting me. And I, like I said, I've gotten a lot better at keeping my legs in front of my opponent. I get him into guard, and I go for a Kimura, but he defends it very well. And then I go for a hip heist escape, but I think I was very slow, as you can see. He defends it. One, two, and I gave up on it right there. So right here, I go for a flower sweep by grabbing his hand with my other hand over behind his head. And he stops that too. Shuts that right down. Let's see, he pulls me into, looks like half guard right here. And he lets his legs go down for some reason, and I managed to mount him. So right here, I am trying to get into S mount, so I can go for an arm bar. But I've only seen this. I've never really done it properly. I think I did it once. But as you can see right here, he stops me because he notices that I did something wrong. And he's helping me right here. Fix my side control. I need to put more pressure on him. I need to be higher up on him. And then I need to just do the armbar. I was kind of standing up over him. I wasn't exactly squashing him. I don't know. I don't know. But that's what, that's what I was doing. Thinking back when he was telling me about it, I was like, yeah, that's definitely what I was doing. <clears throat> I would have the sound on for this, but 
they were playing some copyrighted music and I don't know how to get around that so I'm just not gonna play the sound you just have to hear me talking there it is armbar and he shows me some more and we're done and we're switching partners all right so I had to sit out around because it was a odd number of people so I was just sitting here I was rolling back on doing some shoulder rolls and this is John right here he's a blue belt he always, he's always very aggressive when we go together <clears throat> so here he is He was probably going maybe 50%. He's a very good blue belt, and he flipped over on my other side control. And then I'm not exactly sure how this really happened, but hmm, he seems like he's just turtling and letting me take his back. So I get my right hook in, and then I flip him over onto my pillow arm, and I fight to get my left hook in, and I barely managed to get it in there. <clears throat> right now we're just in a stalemate, because I, as, again, I don't know really what to do on the back besides choke, choke, like a rear naked choke. So I'm just kind of holding it, looking for the opportunity to choke him or mount him. And he just totally does one of the back escapes that I learned the other day on me and gets out of it into my guard. Now right here I'm about to go for a Kimura. I'm about to attempt a Kimura on his right arm and then he just flips up. Like I just did? I'd never done that before. I've only used like my arms which was very helpful that's crazy I just flew him down <clears throat> let's see go for a Kimura again he defends and I actually managed to hip heist him this time and he <laughs> he jokingly said oh no you sweep me and then he goes to sweep me and luckily I knew what the sweep was he was going for but I don't remember what it was but I managed to stop it because I just I think I postured up And I took his back again. And we're just in a stalemate right now. He passed my bottom leg. Now, I think right here... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out my grip. I'm trying to figure out what to do. And then he stops me. He's like, what is this grip right here for? And I wasn't sure. I said, I don't know. You know, I just, I'm just holding it. I don't know. And he was, he showed me the proper grip I should have <clears throat> before I do anything. Which I knew, I just totally forgot. I got taught this already. I just totally forgot it. He showed me how he just he can just shoot out of it like that. And then he showed me the proper grip right here. Which I already knew this. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a, one of those brain fart things. Yep, right there. And there goes the second round rolling down. Alrighty, so we got the third round of rolling, <clears throat> and I go against the 250 pound football player right here. This is him. He is very strong and very big, and he always manages to squash me, just like the last video. But this time we start off in back, I take his back right here, and then we just start rolling from there. And I get him on the pillow arm, but I am not able to get the choke in because he just put his head down. Couldn't get it in. And right here, he's got one, I think he's got one hand in, or he's fighting to get one hand in. So he can uh, push, you know, my hands off of him. And then work on the legs. 
which isn't what you'd normally do. Normally you would get the legs off and then, you know, spin around or something. But I guess he hasn't really learned any any uh, back escapes besides the ones that we learn after this rolling. Right after this session we uh, learn back escapes. But he did do a pretty good job of getting out of it. Still fighting, still fighting. Looks like he find he gets my hands right there. Finally gets them off. When every time I go against him, he always wears my muscles out because he's so strong. He's just pushing. I'm trying to push back, but I can't because he's just way stronger than me. And oh, there it goes. I just pull him straight in the guard. <laughs> trying to figure out what I want to go for. Just trying to think. Now my go-to, my number one go-to is just go for a Kimura, and if that doesn't work, I go for the hip heist sweep. Which, I go for the Kimura, and I get it, but he flips over on his back, and I'm not sure how to finish it from this position. I was trying to kind of get him on his uh, left side, so I can put the arm behind his back, but it did not work. He's just too big, I couldn't get it, I finally just gave up. Let's see. Oh. Almost flips me off. It's like riding a dang horse with him. I'm going for the S-mount armbar, which Tyler taught me how to do better. But I don't think I put enough pressure on him. And he just flips me over. Now right here, looking back on it, I should have gone for a triangle, but I don't know why I didn't. As soon as he breaks my guard, he didn't fully pass me, but as soon as he breaks it, the time runs out. And we go into our <clears throat> back escape lecture. We did that, and then we're learning the back escape. And that's about... All I wanted to talk about in this video, just the rolling. I'm going to make sure my, I'm, I'm going to buy another battery. And then I'll make sure my camera is charged before I even leave. Freaking, I cannot believe I finally get the camera. And boom, battery dies. Right before the live rolling. Just stupid. I'm going to hit play whenever the live rolling actually begins <laughs> next time. But hey, I got it in. Which means I'll be able to get it in more. <clears throat> so you can look forward to that and you can watch me get my face smashed because I thought the camera was still recording when I moved it to go against Tyler right here Live rolling he totally just smashed me Like really quick and got me in a triangle and I was like, okay, I can probably get out of this No, he, he got it very tight. He, he like went a hundred percent on me and he even faced the camera was like, yeah <laughs> It was pretty funny but <clears throat> Anyways, that's it I will get the camera in there more often and I will get some good content for you and you can see my progress. Alrighty, you guys have a good one. Peace.